The Tokyo location is more famous, but Super Potato's roots are firmly in the big city of Osaka. On a side street of Denden Town, Super Potato RetroCon houses the rarest games west of Tokyo. There won't be many deals, but you'll never find some of these games and systems anywhere else. Let's start at the showcase, right after the entryway's cornucopia of merchandise. The 64DD inhabits one case, an expensive reminder of Nintendo's attempt at introducing disc media to the N64. This unit, with a few games, costs $700. Next to it are the most valuable games for the N64, Japan Pro Golf Tour at $400, and an expansion to Doshin the Giant that will set you back $600. Rendering Ranger Double R is one of the most expensive Super Famicom games, a shooter with a print run of a few thousand. This loose copy is $500, while a copy with the manual is 900 bucks. Mega Man 4's bosses were all designed by contest winners. Capcom gave each winner a golden cartridge, so only eight exist. At $6,300, this cart is the most expensive game in the shop. It's easy to complain about American retro game prices these days, but things could be much worse if you live in Japan. An American NES is $300, and a Super Nintendo is 80 bucks. You can also buy some American games, like Super Punch out for $100 CIB. The Legend of Mana is one of my favorite action RPGs, and you can pick it up for 15 bucks. Another PlayStation RPG, Dragon Quest VII, moves significantly more copies in Japan than America, so it's only 10 bucks complete. Let's move on to the Sega Saturn. One right after the other, we have Christmas Nights for $4, Nights in the Dreams for $7, and one of my favorite shooters ever, Panzer Dragoon's Vi for 20 bucks. Crammed into this showcase are some of the best and most sought after Saturn games. Next to Burning Rangers is the shooter Hyper Duel, selling for $500. Then we arrive at my personal favorite, Battle Garega, considered one of, if not the greatest shoot 'em ups ever made. The Sega Genesis sold far better in America, so Japanese Genesis games have risen in value quite steadily compared to their American versions. Now, a copy of Sonic & Knuckles is 100 bucks. A complete Model 2 CD unit is $350, and a CIB Model 2 Mega Drive is almost 170 bucks, the same price as a loose Model 1 American Genesis. Whip Rush is a great side-scrolling shooter, but 30 bucks is a little high. The Neo Geo CD is one of my favorite consoles, not the least because you can play full Neo Geo games without paying for astronomically expensive cartridges. This is a rare front-loading unit for $100. The classic AES system, on the other hand, is $500. And if you're gonna spend that much, why not get Metal Slug 2 for $2,000? The PC Engine Duo Monitor is an LCD screen that attaches to a Turbo Duo. Combined with a battery sold separately, any CCD playing console became portable. The monitor itself is $1,000, while the console is almost $220. Now is the time to pick up N64 games before collectors move on from the Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Copies of Mario Party can be had for much cheaper than their American counterparts. Mario Party 3, for example, is just 24 bucks. SNES RPGs are incredibly common by Japanese standards, so expect to pay around 25 bucks for a CIB Chrono Trigger. Or if you want the V-Jump prize version, it's $500. Likewise, this press kit demo version is $300. Bucks. Aero Fighters is an incredibly rare Super Nintendo shooter, averaging about $500 for a loose cartridge. Sonic Wings, the Japanese version, is only $40. The shelf space here is so limited, I don't even know where to begin. Castlevania debuted on a disc before coming out as a late cartridge release for the Famicom. Combine a popular franchise with a low print run, and you get a cartridge selling for almost $200. On the cheaper end, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is $35. More powerful than a gun, use the included Dreamcast keyboard to blast away at zombies in The Typing of the Dead for $30. Sometimes, Super Potato chances upon old boxes or pallets of never-opened games and accessories. You can get a brand new controller for the PCFX for 30 bucks. Hagane is a great action game for the SNES, and its rarity makes it one of the most valuable games for the system in America. A loose cartridge can go for more than $400, but a Japanese copy is $250 in box. I'm holding a rare high Saturn the result of a partnership between Sega and the electronics maker Hitachi. Because it's an uncommon variant, even this loose and slightly roughed up console is selling for $120, more than twice the cost of an already overpriced Saturn. And that's the thing about Super Potato. Almost everything is overpriced. Common games cost a little bit more than I've seen elsewhere and expect to pay top dollar for uncommon titles. If you're visiting Japan and have just a short amount of time, Super Potato will have the rarest games at fair prices. But the only time I buy something at Super 
favorite potato, be it in Tokyo or Osaka, is when I can't find a rare game anywhere else. If you have the time to get out of the city, you'll find the same games at much cheaper prices. Remember, the game you're looking for is always cheaper somewhere else. Thanks for watching and mahalo.